Welcome back to the Michelle Valentine Show. As we promised, our special guest is Nancy Wood. Hi, Nancy. Hi, Hello. Michelle. Hello. Uh, so tell us, you are a uni ordained United Methodist minister. Yes, I am. You are a writer for a Living Solo magazine. Yes. You are a speaker. Mm -hmm. You are a consultant. Yes. All these wonderful things. So give us some examples of where you've been, what do you do, and... Tell us who Nancy Wood is. I travel all over the United States and I mainly talk to singles groups, although I talk to other organizations too. And a lot of what I talk about is relationships and I'm particularly interested in trying to get people to get their act together <laughs> before they get into relationships. Very good. Uh, that'll help us cut down on some of the failure rate that we have. So sure. uh, that's what I like to talk about and see if I can help people get, sure. get to the point where they're really ready. You mean in so, between relationships? Get in between, yes. Because because after you get out of a relationship, you're floundering, and the answer that society tells is find another one right away. You right, know, we're not, right. we're not uh, losing a pet. Right. <laughs> we're losing a person. Amen. You lose a dog, you go get a puppy. You lose a person in your life, you have to take some time to heal. Sure, sure. And so you had mentioned about uh, problems once people get in relationships, divorce and so forth like this. So you, you believe that it's because they're not situated with themselves first. Yes. Yes, okay. Exactly. So, what are some steps that someone can do to get themselves situated and ready for a relationship? I think we have to take a look at the past for a little while, and I don't like to look back, but I think we have to stop right. and say, I've just been right. somewhere, and that some place has left me in a position where I'm hurting. Right. And so take time to feel that pain, and nurture yourself, mm -hmm. and, and say, okay, this ouch, this hurts, mm -hmm. instead of just closing your eyes and forging ahead and starting something new. After you've done that, then start to get realistic about who you are now. Have you changed? Do you know who you are? I can remember going into uh, dating after I was divorced and the person asked me where I wanted to go next and I really couldn't think of what I liked to do. Mm -hmm. I forgot who I was. Mm -hmm. I was thinking about You were somebody what, else's partner and you yes. have to forget about yourself. Yeah. And I wanted to give the answers that my former husband had wanted to hear and so I took a breath and thought about it and he said take your time take your time and that's the thing take your time right. it's not a big rush right. the most important thing is to do it right right so what are some ways that someone can cope maybe talking to other people about the relationship failure and you know is it is it you know going in your house and not leaving for days what how, how would how would you recommend someone copes you know you've mentioned a couple of things that people do I think it is important sometimes to be alone for a while but not too long mm -hmm. I made the mistake of staying alone too long and how, what's too long oh for me it was months oh. <laughs> where I just wasn't going out yeah. I I've, all sorts of things needed me in the house uh -huh. and the cats the kids whatever it was and finally a friend of mine came over unannounced on a Friday night and said get dressed we're going out Good. and I said no I couldn't and she said I'm not leaving until you do you get in a comfortable zone don't you do you? Yeah. you do and you're hiding yeah. from getting right. hurt again sure. so for a little while you lick your wounds and you take care of yourself and you think and you read some good books and and watch movies and mm -hmm. cry and do all those things and then get out right but right. don't get out with the idea that immediately you have to start another relationship right. just get out and be with people and sure. enjoy people sure. and start to figure out again who you are mm -hmm. and then after you've done that figure out what it is that you really want mm -hmm. because a lot of people think they know what they want but right. they don't right. really I mean who wants to be with someone who's not happy with themselves yes. because then then that person has two jobs making themselves happy and making this new person happy as well so right 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 if if Michelle were not smiling when this show started how many people would stay two. in the audience yeah. Yeah. right You've sure. got to be a happy sure. person, you've got to be very self-assured and like yourself and like other people and get rid of the bitterness and right. that doesn't happen right. overnight. Don't you think right. that people are also deadly afraid of being alone and oh, that's yes. why they jump in into something else right away? Yes, mm -hmm. and we have to learn how to be alone with ourselves, mm -hmm. how, how we are complete. So often people ask, where is your better half or how is your better half? Yeah. When we're out of a relationship then we feel, well, half of me is gone. And what we have to do then is expand ourselves into a full, entire, whole, happy, wholesome, healthy mm -hmm. person. Right. And then we're not afraid to be alone. Mm -hmm. And when you get rid of the fear, you can get out there and meet all kinds of wonderful people. 
Well, alone does not have to mean lonely. Right. Okay, right. so if you're happy with yourself, you have a lot of friends, yes. you are busy doing volunteer work, you have a job you like, you have friends, family, there's a lot going on, you're not lonely. Yes. And, and then you can cope with, you know, when you find somebody, the right person, and you should still date as well. Yes. You should still do a lot of dating. I tell people, just date, date, date. You don't have to marry every person you date, but just <laughs> date, get out there, because then it shows you what you like, what you don't like, and That's then true. when you meet the right person, you'll be ready. That's true. So, and a lot of people are afraid to do that. They want to date just one person. Right. Uh, I, I often refer people to a book by Susan Page. It's called oh, If sure. I'm So Wonderful, sure. Why Am I Still so Single? single. <laughs> and Susan is a friend of mine, uh -huh, and we uh -huh. we have talked many times about it, but she says go for quantity. Right. Just because the, <laughs> the odds are in your favor Correct. that if you date lots of people, mm -hmm. one of them is going to be that one special one. Sure, sure. And if you limit your yourself to one, you could make some one big mistake sure. again. That's true. That's true. true. All right, stay tuned. We'll be right back with more of Nancy Wood. If you're enjoying the Michelle Valentine Show, you will love her new travel TV show, Love, Eat, Travel. Follow Michelle Valentine as she travels the world, showcasing the most beautiful destinations, unique adventures, romantic things to do, delicious foods, and more. Visit www.loveeattravel.tv for more information about her upcoming TV show. Hi, this is Michelle Valentine, and I would love if you followed me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, YouTube, and LinkedIn. Be sure to visit my website, michellevalentine.tv, for more information, read thousands of interesting blog posts, watch videos, enter sweepstakes, and more. Also, be sure to join my email list to receive my free weekly e-newsletter. Are you wondering where all the quality singles are? Singles that are attractive, educated, and financially secure? Hello, I'm Michelle Valentine, and I've helped thousands of singles live a happier life, and I can help you too. Clients and members include millionaires, models, doctors, lawyers, and teachers. So call us for your complimentary consultation. 